guys welcome back to our channel i am here all by myself today because we are going to be doing girls talk i think it's needed it's it has been it has been a long coming for us to do a girls talk so yes that's why the husband is not present and it's just me and you and you and you and me okay i need to stop but anyway so i've been getting a lot of questions lately people asking me to share my new mom experience and things that i've learned in in the past two months of being a mom so i thought to myself i'm going to put together a video about the things i wish i knew before i became a new mom so this is what this video is going to be about i think i'm going to be sharing i think five to six things that i wish i knew before i became a new mom so Go get yourself a cup of tea. I have mine here because it's going to be a very interesting and very informative video. And it might be TM, uh, TMI. So if you're a little bit sensitive to this kind of topic, uh, just click along. But if you're not, let's get the show on the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I want to share with you is breastfeeding, guys breastfeeding hurts and there's no way for me to explain it and to just tell you it hurts like hell then babies are gonna be sore and you know why because in the first week I don't know in the first month babies eat every two hours so you can imagine feeding a baby every two hours about nine about eight to nine times a day can you imagine what it does to the babies hmm at one point i was crying i remember being scared to like for the nest feeding because i know it was like right around the corner like it hurt so much they were so sore that they had crossed like crossed yeah that's how painful it was for me for me breastfeeding was if i want to compare the pain i can compare breastfeeding pain to my contraction pains they're like for me they're like really really close i dreaded breastfeeding because of the pain and i feel like if someone would have told me i would have mentally prepared myself because i felt like i just gave birth to a baby that's like the most painful thing I've, i will ever do and then boom it hit me in the face bow like no girl this is more this is even this is like more because it's not going away it keeps coming back every two hours every two hours so your babies doesn't really get the time to heal but thank god my doctor wrote me a prescription i don't know the name exactly yet i don't know the name of my head sorry i'm going to go check it and i'm going to put the the name here and i'm going to link it below they probably have very variety of this kind of creams and i used it i used it like before and after breastfeeding and it's total natural you don't need to wipe it away before the baby feeds so it's like it doesn't harm the baby and trust me that cream worked miracles like it's just make it all so cool and so like cold and, and it's just help it helped with the pain like it calms everything down so thanks jesus I found that cream and I must say this pain is temporary like when you are like used to your baby and you know how to properly make your baby lash properly and you have the right position it all becomes natural it becomes become easy it's just like being a new mom you don't know what to do you've never like breastfed a baby so obviously you might be doing it wrongly what and that's why it hurts so much so yeah that's for me is something I wish I knew before i gave birth so still on like the baby's matter the next one is if you had a small perky babies those are going to like change to oh my god huge babies and not just huge they're going to be hard like concrete yes get ready i need to change my african accent for you guys yes they're going to be big and not only big they're going to be hard like i saw myself in the mirror and i was terrified i was like what is this why didn't somebody tell me this was going to happen like ah, ah. it was now nah, i wasn't expecting it they are going to be like at least two size bigger i think my babies are like two size bigger than 
what they used to before I gave birth to Zuri. So that's also going to be a huge change. They're not going to look the way they used to look, but trust me, it's temporary. It will all pass. Next thing, the next thing is that I I wish I knew before I gave birth was baby blue baby blues guys this is very serious i'm going to put my tea down so i can tell you guys this this is very very serious and this is like i need to like make this so clear as possible it happened baby blue is basically moon swing and it happens mostly like three to four days after you give birth like after give after three to four days i realized how much my mood swing would change one minute i am happy one minute i'm sad one minute i'm irritated i remember just locking myself in the bathroom and i would cry for no reason and i sometimes after crying i would sit down and ask myself why did i just cry like i i, I had no reason for crying and i had no reason to be sad because mind you i just had a baby that's healthy and sound and i didn't know why i was feeling this kind of i didn't know why i was feeling that way and i was so ashamed of myself like i was like what am i not capable of being a mother what is wrong with me i would like snap at everybody with the slightest like i was so easily irritated i couldn't sleep even though julie was sleeping i was having sleepless nights i would wake up with bulgy red eyes it was crazy it was really 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 crazy and i couldn't understand until giuseppe came and told me like babe i think you're having the baby blue blues and i spoke with my uh with my then i was had my midwife with me i spoke with her she told me it was perfectly normal it should last for like a week after the after you get birth but not longer if you feel like those feelings you're feeling are not going away after like a week then you need to see a doctor or a therapist because you don't want to go into like what's person depression that's like so tall or something as well baby blues is very it's temporary it happens it's just like all the hormones shifting in your system and it happened to me it's nothing to be ashamed of because trust me you could feel ashamed i felt really ashamed i, I started questioning me being able to be a mother it's it's really scary so yeah that's something i didn't expect would happen to me at all next thing is waking up to feed your baby and having to like wait for another one to one and a half hour for her to get back to sleep yeah i felt like i thought before i gave birth after, the, after the, i know babies wake up in the middle of the night i felt but i thought oh you're just gonna feed them and then burp them and then off they go back to bed honey Mm -mm. no it didn't happen like that most of the time when she wakes up after i feed after i feed her I burp her she will be crying and then you're busy trying to get her back to sleep for like an hour an hour and a half and i remember myself just walking back and front in my back in my in my bedroom back and front for like an hour and then she's gonna fall asleep and in the next two hours she's gonna wake up again to eat so when i tell you the first month of being a mother is one of the hardest months of your life or the most difficult months of your life i think i think i think i'm right i think i'm allowed to say that because okay maybe for me for me for me definitely one of the difficult months of my life the first month of being a mother seriously it takes an hour for them to go back to sleep maybe it's just my baby but it takes longer than you expect for a baby to fall back to sleep is the postpartum bleeding guys it is real like obviously i knew after giving birth we're gonna bleed but i never knew to what extent and to the volume like how heavy is gonna be like naturally i i'm very light i my period is very light so for me that was a huge huge shock like i remember asking my midwife how long is it gonna take and she told me like i think five to six days i don't know what i think i didn't know what i heard i thought it was just five to six days but it turned it out it's actually from three to six weeks i ended up bleeding for five weeks guys and when i mean when i say bleeding it's not like your normal regular what you see every month it's like something is like a cow has been slaughtered it's like like yeah can you imagine a car being slaughtered yeah that's it so like you need those extra extra large pads that's what you need like when you wear them you look like you're wearing like a diaper like a baby that's how much that's how i look for six five weeks just walking around 
with my legging with that extra extra large pad yeah I don't know I didn't know how to deal with it because I haven't I don't believe that much for, for, for so for me to believe for five weeks long it was just something I was like wow okay it's crazy I didn't expect it to be this long but it is going to be long it's gonna last from three to three to six weeks so just be ready next and the final thing for me that I wish I knew was the after label pain guys after label pain is no joke your area you're, you're down there like you know what I mean like everything down there hurts pain hurts doing number two hurts sitting hurts bending hurts everything hurts like what are you talking about you just birth a human being what do you expect like I, I was like then I was like after a while I was, I was like questioning myself why was I surprised that it hurt like who do I think I am like who I don't understand it hurt I took paracetamol for like a week like it hurts I couldn't sit I, I have to like pick up like find a way proper way to see so it doesn't hurt it's just like add contractions like you have after labor con after birth contractions i was having pain after a week of giving birth to ziri that's how after labor of half after delivery pain i don't know what to call it it happens i don't know if it happens to everybody but it happens to me it was something that i never heard of never read of it when it was happening to me i found on the hard way that it happens to some women so if if I would have knew and someone would have told me or would have read about it I would have probably prepared myself to know that after like pushing a baby out there's probably a chance that I'm still gonna have pain for like a week or two after giving birth so those are definitely the things that I wish I knew before I became a new mom and trust me will I change all those things that I experienced no because being a mom is the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me and i will not change those things sleepless night pain i will do it all over again in the pink because what you have me seeing my baby all healthy and sound like those things don't even matter to me it's just like but it would have been better for me to know and properly prepare myself then i felt i feel like if i would have known if i would have known I wouldn't have really hated no, I wouldn't say hate I feel more like stress what I the first month wouldn't have been so stressful for me so I hope this video helped someone and I hope I did not scare anyone it is perfectly normal it's gonna pass it's temporary and thumbs up to our mothers out there because we rock man we rock we like we 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 are like super women super women that's what we are that's what we are i'm so happy i could share this so yeah that's the video for today i hope you guys love this kind of videos if you want me to make this kind of like girl talk videos comment below or leave topics of you guys of topics you guys will want me to like share my thoughts on make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.